Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. Daniel here, as always. Happy that you're here. Today, I would like to talk about the following thing you have seen already in the video title, but that's the title of the video is five things every CEO must know about testing. Hmm. Maybe you ask yourself, like, why is it all now talking about things a CEO has to know? I mean, if you have seen my video on the misconceptions about testing, you have already heard many of the things that we as software testers and uh, here in the industry or in the, in the team on a, on a hopefully not so frequent basis, but it's, it's happening. And when I was working with, with different companies over my, um, the last years and my career, I found out that sometimes also CEOs or like upper management or however, uh, what, what kind of level you have in your company, they, they have a complete misconception, misunderstanding about software testing. And that's why I thought like, hey, let's make that video to talk about like what our upper management um, have to know about software testing to gain most of the benefits out of it. Because especially also in young startups or in smaller companies, um, companies always like to save money. You know, testing is, is time consuming, costs money. They would like to save that but in the long run, they can just learn from it. So in case you have a, a boss, a friend, a, a former CEO or whatever, who thinks similar way, testing is not important or we don't need testing, share that video with that person and I hope that I can help him or her to get rid of their thinking. So now let's take a look, what is this talk all about today? So first of all, why CEO thinks wrong about testing is because software testing is more than just finding bugs. That's really important to, to keep in mind. I mean, yes, we as software testers, we're not just blindly tapping, clicking around to just find some bugs or break the software. No, it's just more that we do. I mean, if you integrate a software tester well enough in your development process, this person starts very early with his or her questioning, critical thinking, critical questions, risk storming, uh, mitigating risks early enough in the process together with the team in best case as a tandem with the product manager just to find out like what are the challenges that we might see in the development phase or also on the customer side. So that's why the software test is not only doing finding bugs, it's, it's a tiny, tiny portion of things that we as software testers do exploratory testing using session-based testing to find issues and raise those issues. But in best case, we start to watch earlier, like shift left, also to the shift right, um, to find, yeah, to find issues and to find and to talk about people, communicate with the stakeholders is also one important thing. And also, if you have the right software tester in the company with the right mindset, that person can also help to establish a holistic view of quality in your product, in your team, to get better overall, yeah? So that's why we're not here for just finding bugs. Second thing is software testing plays a huge role in every go-to-market strategy, yes. I've also heard it several times from, from upper management and C-level, like, oh, we don't need testers because they just find bugs, they only cause uh, time consuming their bottlenecks and stuff like that. But to be honest, I. It's, to some extent, I can ex I can understand that thinking because if you are like a young startup, you would like to iterate fast and you don't want to to like to overdo it with testing and finding things. But come on, nobody. I mean, look at you at at your using habits of the products that you're using on your mobile device on your computer. Do you would like to not use a service that's crashing all the time or it's not working? And in, in worst case, you spend money on that and it's not working out. I mean, that's why software testing is such a huge part or like quality should, should such a huge part in the complete go-to-market strategy. Because if you have already lost the, the, the users and your customers because of trust issues or like of loyalty issues, they will never come back. They go to the competition and stay there. So that's why software testing should always play a huge role in the go-to-market strategy like beta testing, testing in production, exploratory testing, non-functional testing, so many things to consider. Of course, a company should not do all the things at the same time, but find the right things for their purpose, for their context and do it. Yeah? Um, number three is yeah, shifting left, shifting right helps in company growth. What I mentioned before, a little bit earlier with shift left, shift right, shifting left, starting early enough to, you know, 
get things um, done up front because then in the long run it saves time in fixing issues that are that found later or even in production that's important so it can help also the developers to grow to learn things and also to shifting to the right is more like into what do the the devops um, mindset to also do like some monitoring observability to to see like okay we have some issues in database production or we have some issues in our api to learn with the system and also with the features and the users what's going to happen and use that knowledge from shift left and right to grow the company. Give that feedback to your stakeholders as from a tester's perspective because then they can make decisions of do we need to hire more people, what skills do we need and so forth and so forth and it helps to grow the company in the right direction. Hey, sorry for a little break, but since I'm talking about the go-to-market strategy and why software testing is so important in that phase, I'm pretty happy that I have a main sponsor for today's video, which is Quality Plus Test Management for Geo. With the help of Quality Plus, test management is getting super lean and easy. You can plan, execute test cases with minimal effort so that teams can stay focused. At the same time, the plugin offers great bug creation, reporting features to speed up the time to market for every software development team. The plugin for Jira is super easy to install via the Adlesin Marketplace and you can just start writing your test cases right after the installation process is done. In the test case execution, software testers or developers can create bugs on the fly while they are executing the test. They don't need to leave the context and the focus where they are. Each step can be marked with a different status in case of a failed step and it's super easy to create a new bug or link an issue to the, to the current step. This is a huge speech improvement for teams during the execution phase. With Quality Plus, teams have everything they need inside their Jira workflows and they can speed up the time to market even more. So make sure to check the video description down below to get a free trial access to Quality Plus today and to see yourself how you can speed up the time to market for your team and for your products. And now back to the main video. Um, number four. Yes, automation is not the main goal. I mean, this is also one of the biggest misconceptions for software testers and testing in general. Let's automate all the things. I mean, no, let's not do that, right? I mean, and automation is not the main goal and should not only be the main focus when you have testers in a team. Automation can help you getting things done a bit faster. They are really great for having solid regression testing. You can gain faster time to market, but only if done right. If it it's done right like okay as, as a side project like ah, everybody can do it let's use like some interns they can write the automation and then we're good to go and we, we we implemented it once and never do it again you will fail with it in the long run you will fail and automation should be like a, a natural addition to all your efforts that you do towards better quality yeah so really take your time invest in finding the right tools um, and then integrate the tools correctly, combine tools with it, and then you have a solid strategy for test automation as well. But just blindly do automation just for the purpose of having it, not good, yeah? And last but not least, I mean, software testers and the company's quality mindset defines the future of everything, right? So if you have testers in the company or like even developers with a really quality mindset, product managers with a high quality mindset, it, this mindset will define the future of all of your products, right? I mean, if you have the goal that you would always like to ship the best possible product for your customers, that's great. I mean, look at examples out there that we see. Yeah, we have a lot of great products that we use on a daily basis from smartphones, computers, software, maybe cars and whatnot that have high quality. And all those companies invest a lot of money and time into the quality mindset in research and how they do things. And this is something that you should also consider. Invest in quality, in the quality mindset. And this doesn't need to be only testing. It can also be the work environment, the processes, how you develop something. Also the, the company culture plays a huge role in that direction. And if everybody is happy, more or less, in a company, they will be more engaged and happy with challenges and maybe tight deadlines and working towards the, the right direction and to ship a real cool product for your company. And I think that software testers have this kind of mindset, or at least they must have this mindset of quality thinking. They can help the company to go in directly in that direction to define the future in the right way.
Yeah. So if you're on a, on a C-level position and watching my channel, that would be great. Try to follow the rules that I, or not the rules, the, 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 the five points that I, I brought for you today. Yeah. And with that, let's take a quick look at the summary. So in case your company has no software testers, think about it. Think about them. Maybe start with one person, a more senior person, and he or she will help you to go in the right direction towards quality. Yeah. They will help you to build and ship better and faster products. Yes, they will do it. They will establish a quality mindset in your company. And that's most important from my point of view. Don't hire a software tester just to, just to test in a team or just to write some automation. Get a more senior person in and let's let that person do his or her job. Let's um, um, observe how the processes are working and stuff like that. And then really like take 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 the time to create a test strategy and to see like what are the things that we can do what are short-term um, improvements what are long-term improvements and that will help you to establish a much better quality mindset in the company yeah and with that we are already done with the video for today what do you think about the five points that i mentioned is it true is it completely stupid what i just told let me know in the comments below have you seen something of that or did you notice something as well in your company would, would be happy to, to hear from you. And as always, like it, share it, and subscribe it. Thanks for coming by. See you next time. Bye-bye.